Hello everyone, welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. Today's video, rabbit poop. You heard me, rabbit poop. Yes, I'm holding it. Rabbit poop is odorless. There's no smell. It's dry, so when I walk, and it's cold. So when I walk over here to my raised bed and I do this, I just fertilized my garden and my hand is essentially clean. Guys, I keep telling y'all, you need rabbit manure for your garden. So let me tell you why you need rabbit manure. Okay guys, manure comes in two forms, hot and cold. The best way to figure it out is everything is hot, except rabbit and goat. Other than that, every manure type is a hot manure. Cow, pig, sheep, chicken, duck, goose, dog, cat, human, all hot, must be composted, okay, including horse. It must be composted six months at a minimum before you can put it in your garden or it's going to burn your plants, okay? It's gonna burn them because it puts off heat as it's decomposing. The greatest thing about rabbit manure, when they poop, I can scoop it out from underneath their cages or catch it in buckets, bring those out here and put it directly underneath a plant that I'm transplanting. I even crush it up and seed in it. Guys, it's a cold manure. It's not gonna burn your plants ever. Now let's talk about nutrient levels. Get excited because this gets me so excited. Here at Storky Farmstead, I do not buy any commercial fertilizers, guys, none. I don't use 13, 13, 13. I don't go buy fish emulsion. I don't buy any of that ever. And I grow so much food off this quarter acre market garden. And this is why. Rabbit manure, you ready? Nitrogen, 2.4. When you talk about chicken, its nitrogen level is 1.1. Cow, 0.25. So basically, it would be like me holding $2.40 in this hand and a quarter in that hand. And me asking you, which one would you prefer? You're gonna take the $2.40, I guarantee it. That's the difference between cow manure nitrogen levels and rabbit manure nitrogen levels. Let's talk about phosphorus. Rabbits are at 1.4, chickens come in at 0.8, cows 0.15. They're not even in the, in the same category as nutritional levels, guys. Talk about potassium, which is the K on that NPK on the bags of fertilizers. Chicken, I mean, rabbit manure, 0 0.60. Chicken, 0 0.50. Cow, 0.23. You cannot beat rabbit manure. It has more nutrition than any other manure out there, okay? Not only that, like I said, it is a cold manure. It can go directly into your garden. You can side dress with it. You can transplant with it. Let me show you what we did with I just it. just came so. out here with Steven. Started working on a new section for the no-till. Guys, this is rabbit manure. Just sitting out here in the garden. And let me tell you guys something. When you see this white stuff growing all over that rabbit manure, all that is is a very healthy bacteria. You can't beat rabbit manure. Not only that, our soil test on this hard packed Louisiana clay was so impressive. Go back and look at that. It's clay soil, a blessing or a curse video that we did. And we talk about our soil test. The only thing that we fertilize with here at Starkey Farmstead is a compost that we make in the chicken coop, which is a combination of quail, chicken, and rabbit then manure. We use straight rabbit manure and worm castings. Other than that, I collect rabbit urine for a nitrogen booster. I make a comfrey tea. I make a garlic tea. I do everything off our farmstead by hand. And guys, our plants here are gorgeous. Gorgeous. We even have a brixometer. And last year, our scores that we were taking from our plants were so high. I'm telling y'all now, Stop investing in store-bought bags, compost, black cow bags. Guys, you spend all this money on raised beds 
or ground gardens and then you literally fill it with the cheapest stuff you can get your hands on and you wonder why your gardens don't produce. You need rabbit manure. That's all you need. And your garden will thank you for it. When I'm layering my red wiggler beds, because we worm form here at Starkey Farmstead too, we actually layer it with rabbit manure because the worms love it. It's the same concept for my garden. The earthworms, when they get a hint of that rabbit manure, they come in like bulldozers. Guys, you've got to regenerate your soil and there's no better way to do it than what you already have at your fingertips. Now, if you don't raise rabbits, where can you find rabbit manure? Get on Facebook. Get in your state on Facebook and find people that sell rabbits. If they sell rabbits, they have rabbit manure. And I promise you, if they don't garden themselves, they'll sell it. I always keep an excess amount of manure here for other organic growers. Because see, at Starkey Farmstead, our rabbits don't just eat pellets. They never get antibiotics or wormers. So I know that my poop is top notch because I feed them things like comfrey, basil, rosemary. They get vegetables organically grown, spring, summer, and fall. They get oats, black oil, sunflower seeds, and organic hay fall and winter. So I know that their manure is not just full of NPK. It has calcium. It also has boron. It has copper. It has traces of sulfur, iron. Guys, listen to me. If you really want to grow a beautiful, healthy, productive garden, and not spend that much money, go get some rabbit manure. I hope that this video really helps you understand why I keep screaming from the top of my head. What does Sam fill her raised bed with? Worm castings, rabbit manure, organic hay, leaves, compost out of my chicken coop. That's it. I'm not going to the store and buying anything fancy. If you've got deep, deep beds, Put two or three feet of crushed shredded leaves in the bottom, shredded cardboard, newspaper, shove it all down in there, pack it in, then layer it with rabbit manure, compost, worm castings, and plant directly into it. Guys, I'm telling you, for the ones of you who try it, please comment how it works for you because you will never grow a garden quite like the one you'll grow if you'll listen to Starkey Farmstead. You guys have a blessed and glorious day. Find somebody near you that sells rabbit manure. Go pick you up a bag. You will not be sorry. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for rowing in our boat. Is he peeing on you? He's trying to. Hey, we got a plant growing. Oh, yeah. That's hilarious. So we're getting everything that we need, guys, into the wheelbarrow going directly to the no-till garden. You have got to remember, there is nothing better in the world to plant in than rabbit manure. It is a cold manure, does not need to be composted. However, this has sat here all the way through winter. So some composting has gone on. Uh, rabbit manure is higher in NPK than any other manure type available. You really need to do your research. If you don't raise rabbits and you garden, find somebody that raises rabbits, purchase the manure from them.